In this video, we're going to look at 10 simple Excel tips that will help you navigate Excel faster, save time with data cleanup, and make your spreadsheets easier to use. So let's go. So the first tip is a simple navigation trick that not many people know about. If I want to jump down to the bottom of the sheet, I can hover my mouse cursor over the selected cell, over the border here, until it turns into that crosshair. And then when I do that, I'm just going to double click the bottom border, and that will jump me down to the bottom of the sheet, the last used cell. If I want to go to the right, hover the right border and double click, and that will jump me over to the right. So you can continue to do this to navigate around the sheet. And one additional trick here is if you were to, if you wanted to select all of the cells from the top to the bottom, you can hold shift while double clicking that border and that's going to select all the cells. Now one little trick here, or one tip, is that if you have blank cells on your sheet, this shortcut works exactly like control down arrow, if you've ever used that shortcut. And if you double click here, that's going to take you to the last non-blank cell before the next blank cell. So you have to continue to double click here on the bottom border to get all the way down to the bottom. So if you have blanks in your worksheet, this might not work as well, but it's a good little handy shortcut if you don't want to use the keyboard shortcuts. This next tip will save you time when copying and pasting multiple items. The first thing we're going to do is go up to the Home tab, and right here where it says Clipboard, we're going to click this little button, and that's going to open the clipboard. Go down to Options, and then we want to turn on Collect Without Showing Office Clipboard. Make sure this option is turned on. You can just click it and make sure it's checked. Then we can close the clipboard. And here what I want to do with this task is I want to copy a few items or a few ranges from this sheet and build out this sheet over here. So I'm just going to first select the header here. I want this header, so I'm gonna hit Control C for that. I then want this range, so I'm just gonna select it, hit Control C again. And then I'm going to go over to this customer list sheet, and I also want uh, this range here, so I'm gonna hit Control C to copy that as well. Now I'm going to go over to my text split function sheet. This is the sheet that I want to build out. I'm gonna to go to Home tab, and again, click this button to open up the clipboard, and you can see all of these items that I've collected here from my copy. So I want this header up at the top, so I'm gonna put that right there. You can see it brings the formatting over as well. Down here, I want a list of all of those functions, so I'm gonna put that right here. And then over here to the right, I want all of my data, just like that. I'll click right here to select all the uh, rows and columns, double click to auto fit, and now I have this sheet nicely built out. And I didn't have to jump back and forth between sheets to just copy one of these ranges that are cells at a time and then paste it and so on. So using this clipboard saves a lot of time with copying and pasting multiple items, especially if you're doing this task repetitively. Next, we'll look at a secret hack for cleaning up dates. So this column contains dates here, but these are not actually dates in Excel. And there's a few ways to see that. First, if you have the filters enabled, you can click the filter drop down here, and these dates should typically be grouped by month and year, and they are not. So that lets you know that these are not dates. Another way to see this is if we select one of these cells and go to the Home tab and click the uh, Format drop down right here, you can see that the previews are all the same. This is text, and these should be actual dates here. So one way to convert this is I'm first going to select all the cells. I'll use that shortcut that I used at the beginning. So I'm gonna hold shift, double click to select all the cells here. I'm gonna hit control H on the keyboard to bring up the find and replace window. And all I wanna do is find and replace the separator character. In this case, it's a dash. So I'm going to find the dash, I'll type it there. And I'm also going to replace it with the same character, replace it with the dash. And what this does when we hit replace all, we'll go ahead and hit replace all. As you can see, the dates have now been converted into actual dates here. We can see that in the column. And what this does is it forces Excel to reevaluate the value in each cell, and then it detects it as a date and converts it to a date value. So now when we go up to the Home tab here and look at the Format dropdown, we can see that we get the right date formats for each of these different formats. And if we were to jump back up to the top here, of the sheet and look at the filter dropdown, we can also see that these are now grouped into year and month. And converting your dates to actual dates is important when you're analyzing your data with formulas or pivot tables. 
Now this find and replace trick only works if your dates are in the correct regional format. So here if I try it again with this column of dates, you can see that some of them are converted, but not all of them. And actually these are converted incorrectly because if we hit control Z to undo this, we'll go ahead and hit control Z. These dates are actually in the day, month, year format. So this date would be June 12th, 2025. It converted it to December 6, 2025. And that's because I'm in the US and our regional date format is month, day, year. So in order to convert these dates, we're going to use another Excel tool. We're going to go up to the data tab on the ribbon and we're going to use a feature called text to columns. So I have all my dates selected here first before opening text to columns. On this first step of this wizard, I'm just gonna choose delimited and hit next. We don't need to do anything here. Same with step two, we're gonna hit next again. But on step three for date, we're going to choose the date format that the dates are currently in, which is day, month, year. So we'll choose day, month, year, and then hit finish. And that's going to convert the dates to my local regional format, which is month, day, year. So using text to columns for this is another very handy feature. And between the find and replace hack and text to columns, you should be able to clean up most of your dates. When making a duplicate copy of a sheet, if you're going to the right click menu, choosing move and copy, checking this box and then hitting okay, that's actually the slow way to make a duplicate copy of a sheet. There's a hidden trick here where you can just left click and hold on the sheet, drag it over to the right, then hold the control key and you'll see that little plus icon appear there in the mouse cursor that lets you know you're making a copy. Release the left mouse button and that'll make a duplicate copy of the sheet. It takes a bit of getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, you'll become very quick at quickly making duplicate copies of sheets. And you can also do this with multiple sheets selected. Now, if you really wanna take your Excel skills to the next level, then check out our free Excel class called the Modern Excel Blueprint. In this class, I cover the five critical Excel skills that you need to know in this modern AI era. You'll learn how to save a ton of time with your job and stand out from the crowd. I'll put a link in the description where you can get registered for free. Next, we'll look at another copy and paste trick. So here I have this table of contents sheet that contains clickable image tiles for each sheet in the workbook. When I click this image here, it takes me directly to that sheet. And this is dynamic. So as the data on the sheets change, the image tiles update as well. I'll show how to set this up by going over to this sheet here, which contains this pivot table and chart. I'm just going to select all these cells that contain all the information. I'm gonna hit Control C to copy those, then go back over to my table of contents. And right here, I'm going to right click, go to Paste Special, and then down here, we're going to choose Linked Picture. So this is going to paste a linked picture. Then we just need to uh, move it onto the sheet. We can kind of resize it here so it fits with our dashboard and then we can right click it and we'll choose link and we'll choose a place in this document and select this sheet and hit okay. And now this becomes a clickable image that will take us right to this sheet. And as the data changes, let's just make a change here to the formatting of this chart. We'll change the uh, fill color here on these bars. We'll just make it a nice bright green. And then when we jump back over to our table of contents, we can see that the image has been updated because we pasted a linked picture. And since this is a picture, I can right click it here to select it, then go up to picture format. I can hit crop if I wanted to make this the same size as the other image tiles. And I might also want to put a nice uh, light gray border around it. So I can do that as well to just match the styling of the table of contents. In this example, I want to remove all the borders from this exported report. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hit Control Shift End to select this entire column of data. Then I'm gonna use the shortcut Control Shift Dash and that will remove all the borders. The dash key is between the zero key and the equals key on the US keyboard. And if you want to add borders around cells or a range, you can use the shortcut Control Shift Seven and that will give you an entire border around this cell or range. This sheet contains several blank cells that I might want to flag for data entry. For this, I'm gonna hit Control G on the keyboard, or you can use F5, then Special, and then we're going to choose Blanks. And you can actually just double click this, or you can click this and hit OK. And that will select all the blank cells on the sheet. 
Then I'm just going to fill them with this yellow fill color, and that lets my coworkers know that we have some missing data that needs to be filled in. Let's say we need to insert six blank rows here. I'm first just going to select six blank rows. I know I have six selected because of that six R in the screen tip there. Then I'm going to right click and choose insert, or you can use control plus on the keyboard, and that will insert those six blank rows. And if you wanna store more information on a cell, you can hit shift F2 to create a note. If we wanna leave a note for our coworkers. Or if you're using Microsoft 365, you can hit Control Shift F2 to create comments. And within the comment, you can at mention your coworkers and you can also assign a task to your coworkers as well. So that's 10 simple tips that will save you time and make you look like an Excel pro. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and then leave a comment below and let us know which tip was your favorite. Thanks again for watching, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.